finally this is the Google Pixel 8 and the Google Pixel 8 Pro and if you guys didn't watch the whole event I'll save you some time it was all about AI AI centric AI AI generative AI 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 generative AI now personally I believe Pixel smartphones start a trend in Android and this Pixel 8 series have some really really big claims so the question that has to be asked is is the Pixel 8 series good for India what's real life practical changes and does it heat in the Indian weather that's major this Pratik you're already watching TechWiser let's go now these Pixel devices came in this Google box but the retail box is like this you get the phone cable USB-C OTG this sim ejector tool which kind of looks like a location pin and that's it no charger Flagship unboxing. Now there are three interesting things about the Google Pixel 8 series this year. But before that, I believe Google Pixel series has the best color in any flagship this year. Like this is the Pixel 8 Pro in blue color. Google calls it Bay. Bay. So it looks blue indoors, blue outdoors, basically blue everywhere. And this is the Google Pixel 8. This is in obsidian color. I don't know what that means. On a serious note, it's really surprising. The Google Pixel 8 is available in India in all colors plus the 128GB and 256GB variant. But the Google Pixel 8 Pro is only available in 128GB variant. Like the Pro doesn't get 256GB like come on Google, come on. But what's not weird is number one camera. The Pixel smartphones are known to be the best camera phones and this year there are major improvements. You get the same 50 megapixel main camera and 48 megapixel telephoto camera but both have bigger lenses. You also get an upgraded 48 megapixel ultra wide angle camera with wider aperture. And the photos are typically pixel like. You get very close to natural photos. You can now even take 50 megapixel photos. It does take a bit of time to click but the end result is sharper. Also the camera app is updated now and you get everything at the bottom. Like if I want to switch to video I can just tap here I can even adjust 30 to 60 FPS from here it's good to see this because smartphones are now getting bigger and bigger so it's better if the software becomes more one-handed also there are pro controls now in the pixel 8 pro so I can adjust focus white balance shutter speed ISO for the pro people but on a serious note it was long due and of course the pro camera features are only on the pro variant not the base pixel 8. Google also talked a lot about having real skin tone of people so we took a lot of photo in the TechWiser office of different people and all these photos looked very close to natural and you can record video up to 4k 60 fps and talking about videos there's a new feature called audio eraser so I'll just play loud traffic noises on my laptop at 100% volume and Sam please come join in and you also make some noise, we'll make lots of noise. So this is me talking through the phone and I hope audio eraser can remove this. This is like very noisy sound. <laughs> so now we'll just go to edit and here in audio under audio eraser, it takes some time to identify the sounds and it shows music, it shows noise, it shows speech. They took your noise as music. <laughs> So if I just tune everything down. So this is me talking through the phone and I hope audio eraser can remove this. This is like very noisy sound. <laughs> Like wow, it removed almost 90% of the noise and this is one of those magical moments when you just think about it, how did they do it? There's also the best take which swaps faces, we'll get to that in a moment but this year, the Pixel can now take ultra HDR photo. They didn't talk about it much but see now, if you open an HDR photo, the display lights up bright to show you the highlights and shadows in the photo. Now you'll be like, can I see this HDR photo on other phone? What if I upload it to Instagram? Well, as of now, it doesn't show up on any other smartphone or social media as of now. Also this year, the macro focus is better. You can get more closer to objects. It looks good. The selfie camera is a 10.5 megapixel camera and it takes good selfies. Now the Pixel 8 has about the same camera hardware as last year, but it's the software feature which makes it insane. We'll get to all of that in a moment. But let us know which phone you want us to cover more, the Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 Pro. And the second bigger change with the Pixels is the new Tensor G3. Now Google didn't talk much about performance improvements on the G3, it was more like well, yeah. But in our testing, the processor still has throttling issues. We ran CPU throttling test and it performed really bad. Now this throttling test is only for the CPU. The huge improvement which Google talked about in Tensor G3 was on the GPU side. So we ran another benchmark called N22 which gives an overall score to the smartphone and it's slightly less than a million which is like Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 scores 
But the key thing here is the temperature in the Antutu benchmark was very less under 40 degree. So Google knows about the heating issues of the Pixel and it is trying to slow it down so that it doesn't heat. I think whether Apple or Google, it's about time smartphone makers start putting better cooling system in their flagship smartphones. Now day to day task goes smooth. That smooth Android experience on Pixel is fluid like swiping out of apps, opening apps. That's not a problem. But the real power of the Tensor G3 is in the third thing. Now the Pixel 8 series comes with Android 14 right out of the box and Pixels are mostly more about the software than the hardware. First of all, Google is promising 7 years of Android updates. Yeah, claps for that. It's the best in Android history, but Google has a weird habit of shutting down things. So only future will tell how that promise goes. But the shocking part is AI. Oh my God, they went full on AI. You go to wallpaper, you can have AI generated wallpapers. You can even create wallpaper as per your own prompt. You go to Google Chrome, you open an article, you can ask Google Assistant to read the article and hold on. Take why just say. Pixel 8 phone per Google photo per service take or swap face ka upyo kese kare. Ravi teja dwara. Iski kalpna kare. Aap apne sabse achhe dosto ke saath yatra par hai. Group photo mein hume. It can translate the article to Hindi and read it out in real time. Yachi kalpana kara. Tumhi tumcha jivalag mitran sobat sahali vara haat. Group. It can do pretty much all Indian regional languages. It's amazing thinking about how useful it can be for my parents or someone who doesn't understand English or other languages. And finally, the most controversial AI feature, best take. So basically, if you take a group photo with people where someone is blinking or you don't get that perfect shot, perfect smile. So you can just go to edit, tools, best take and directly swap their faces for a better picture. It's pretty insane. Now you have to take multiple photos and give it enough samples. So by the time you're holding the phone and taking the photo, it collects your face expression. It works magical. But then here's where the whole AI debate starts. Now, let me explain. See this selfie that I took with Dinesh and Sayan. I'm not even looking into the camera. So now what I can do is I can change my face and make myself look into the camera and even correct other people's expression. I can even remove this building from the background to make the frame look bigger. I can even change the sky, adjust myself to the right side of the camera. So now the frame looks big and grand. But if I keep changing every part of the photo, is it the same original photo? Or let's just say, is it the same memory? And now the good thing about Google is best take magic editor is an option. Google doesn't do it by default. You have to go into photos, edit it and do these changes. But the main point is it's not default as of now. What about the future? Anyways, the most interesting thing about the Pixel 8 series is the pricing. Like it's a flagship phone. Both have 120 hertz display. The Pixel 8 Pro can go from 1 hertz to 120 hertz and it can even go a crazy 2400 nits. There are all flagship features like wireless charging, IP68 rating, etc. But the Indian pricing is way off this year. The Google Pixel 8 starts at 75999. The Google Pixel 8 Pro starts at 1.06 lakh. You can of course add offers and bring down the price even further more. But it is a good 20 to 25,000 expensive from the last year in India. And honestly, at that price, it gives me second thoughts. It's way overpriced in India. And I would say Google should start taking Indian market seriously. These are good phones. So we'll be definitely comparing the Pixel 8 Pro with the iPhone 15 Pro Max and S23 Ultra. Stay tuned for that video. On that note, this is signing off. See you pretty soon. Pew, 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 pew.